Right. Okay, this is David who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Uh, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year, and the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays. So they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. They, and then there was a, a monk who began to add it up. You see, uh, if you read in Luke, it, it says there's a census taken when Quirinius was governor and so forth and so on. And uh, they, they could take those leaders and figure the exact time dating from the foundation of Rome. And that's when the dates were established. And so they get pretty close to the date. But uh, to say it's the 25th shepherds were out abiding in the field, it gets a little cold at night. I mean, were they out there in the middle of winter? Uh, you know, I don't know. I've been out there on the shepherd's field and on Christmas Eve. It's very nice. But it's cold. And nevertheless, I mean, what was going on? So all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. <laughs> but the so birth the of Jesus. But the intent of the heart is what it's about. Exactly. Uh -huh. So we have Christianized all these things. We give gifts in the name of Jesus. We celebrate his birthday. And uh, it's a nice thing. And so yeah. I'm, I'm very delighted. And I like Christmas. And I like, but I tell you, the best Christmas I ever spent in all of my life. My best Christmas all of my life was spent in Jerusalem uh, when we had no Christmas ornaments, no, none of this stocking, none of this, you know, all this stuff. But on Christmas Eve, we stood in Shepherd's Field and we sang, O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. And uh, the next day we had a service, and on Christmas Day we baptized about 50 some people in the Jordan River. That was a wonderful Christmas. Amen. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks for those questions. I hope I didn't shock you. Now, I, I'm not being irreverent, but it's the way it is. So when I mean, you're putting your tree up. Huh? <laughs> I've got, you know, I finally got one of those fake trees, and it's beautiful. <laughs> it's already pre lit, and you just plug those little the joints best. in, stick it up, and <laughs> plug them in, and whoosh, all of a sudden you've, you've got a riot of light. I like all the decorations. The Founders Inn is just loaded with decorations. It's very pretty. But pagan. <laughs> all, right. but all to celebrate Jesus. Yeah, but, right? but, but Christianized pagan. All right. <laughs>